stop. It just continues just going and going and going, just shot after shot after shot after shot, which reminds me of that, that, that uh, song in the clubs, that shot, 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 you know that song? Everybody. Anyhow, it moves eastbound into our Sunday. It's rain. Temperature is quite a difference. Dallas 58, Houston 75. As we head into the southeast, maybe you're in Chattanooga, staying at the Chattanooga Choo Choo, and you're stuck there because of all the snow we got yesterday. It was built in 1908. The first train was in 1909. The last train, 1970, and now it's a hotel. Uh, that started in 1973. On Sunday, we could get some icing in Chattanooga and also down into the Atlanta area. So again, it just is nonstop. So in the Northeast, hey, it's a weekend, so that means we're prepping for another system to come through. And we showed you it in the South Central region in the Southeast, it gets into the Northeast too. So enjoy the nice weather Saturday. Things start to change on Sunday. Again, Boston, we're just a few inches away from breaking that seasonal record. Uh, so hopefully we will break it because it'll be a shame if we get you know an inch away and we just can't do it. Anyhow, in the Midwest, it's been cold. It stays cold. Chicago, we should be essentially upper 30s, lower 40s this time of year. So I know that it looks like it's cold. It is actually cold. You think in the Midwest, oh, it should be in the 20s. No, no, it should be a whole lot warmer. We get snow here on Sunday as well. So it stays active and it stays cold. We're going to see you tomorrow. Al, wrap up the show, please. Steph, thank you so much. That does it for us here on Wake Up With Al. Our good pals from AMHQ. Coming up, Jen Delgado and Sam Champion in the studio. Jim Cantori in Charlotte. We will be back with you tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. to help wrap up the work week. Until then, have a great day, everybody. weather on the 8th. Amazing Thursday. Start right here on AMHQ. We've got a winter storm. Yep, the South verified. They finally got their snow. Now we're moving into the mid-Atlantic. More than 13 million people under winter storm warnings. South Carolina, the National Guard is mobilized. North Carolina, the Department of Transportation is asking you just to stay off the road. I-95 is a major focus for us this morning all the way up the coast. Philly, we're watching you. An inch of snow possible this morning. Norfolk, Richmond, Charlotte, all under these winter storm warnings and advisories this morning. D.C., the heavy snow coming during our morning drive. We're already seeing a bunch of school cancellations and closings and delays coming out of the Maryland area, Southern Maryland. So heads up. Jim Cantori is tracking winter storm Remus for us this morning in Charlotte. And Jim, the cancellations of those airports in North Carolina, a big deal this morning. Uh, huge deal. Uh, Mecklenburg County schools are closed. We've got over 500 cancellations at the airport, even though we only got two inches of snow. And that's the good news, Sam. We should be able to recover here quickly uh, in the Charlotte area. But like you said, the farther east you go, I-95, we've got some big problems that interstate in terms of what we got. All right, we've got uh, Malkoff this morning in Norfolk, Virginia. We've got Raleigh, uh, Durham, North Carolina with uh, Keith Carson. We will cover this area live for you coming up in just a moment on AMHQ. All right, Jim, it's a snowy, beautiful wonderland behind you. I know those roads are slippery and wait till you see the big board. Jennifer, this big board, it doesn't say anything close to March. It's got winter all over. It's got warm. You're absolutely right. It feels cold out there. It looks cold out there. We got a low in the center of the country. We've got action over towards the west in the form of snow, wintery mix, and as well as more snow for the northeast. Sorry for you folks. So let's start off with the big picture. And what we're looking at, of course, is actually our winter storm Remus that we are tracking. And you can see for yourself, this low is off the coast, but look at all that moisture being pumped in. And that is still producing that snow out there. We're still going to pick 
pick up about another one to three inches. Luckily, we have Tom Nizzle. He's going to be breaking down the numbers. We've got team coverage everywhere and then rain to the south. And it's also bringing thunderstorms to parts of Florida. Second part of the story. Well, you've heard this one for week after week after week. Big cool down in place for the weekend. And guess what? Those temperatures are going to be 20 to 45 degrees below average. And we are talking to you in Texas and some of these parts. These numbers are going to be insane. And then for the weekend, we're finally seeing a change in the weather pattern. We've been looking at the trough in the east and the uh, ridge in the west. But now we've got a dip in the jet stream that is going to be funneling snow for these northern parts. And Sam, these are areas that haven't seen really any significant snowfall for a while because Boston's been robbing all the snow from everybody. Yeah, they sure have been taking everybody's uh -huh. snow. But the good news here is we start to see warm air kind of taking control a little bit in the south. Our coverage of Winter Storm Remus continues this morning. Anaritis Rodriguez with what you need to know right now in the Mid-Atlantic. Good morning, Sam. Good morning to you at home. Alabama, Georgia, and the Carolinas, all in states of emergency this morning. The snow broke records in Alabama, where some areas saw more than a foot of snow. Nearly 140,000 people are without power right now across the southeast, and FlightAware reports nearly 500 flights have already been canceled, where Jim Cantori is in Charlotte alone. 17 school districts are closed or delayed in Washington, D.C. and Northern Virginia, and the federal government is is opening two hours later than usual. So Sam, a lot of transportation officials, especially in the Mid-Atlantic, are asking people if you can delay your way out the door, do so, because you don't want to get stuck on the roadways with this type of weather. Yeah, one of the things we're going to see this morning, Anaritis, is that they just don't have the equipment to clean some of these roads. When you look at Jim's shot, and, and Jim, it's a lot of snow to a little bit of snow in the Carolinas, but the roads just don't seem to be touched in most locations. Well, the problem is it all came down once last night. You know, we had buckets of literally white mud on the sky. That's what it was like. I mean, remember off, uh, four weeks in Boston, we had 90, 100 inches. I couldn't even make a snowball. Now it's a piece of cake. I, I could almost do it with one hand. So, you know, just a, just a much heavier wet snow in through here. And that's why, you know, when you start thinking about changing lanes and you go through this slush, I mean, you might as well just put yourself a... Uh, you know, a, a free license to skid on through here. You can see uh, Interstate 77, though, moving behind me here, the city of Charlotte. Uh, things are moving along pretty good, but it's when you start changing the lanes and go through that slush that you run into the problems. The big problem, of course, is the airport and the fact that we have a state of emergency here. Uh, amazingly, Alabama had uh, 8 to 12 inches of snow in northern Alabama. They've got about 14,000 power outages. Here across the state of North Carolina, we've got over 100,000 with about two to eight inches of snow. But remember, we also have these western counties in the mountains and off toward the east and toward Raleigh where they had also this white mud come on down. Let's show you some of the other areas here. Uh, Interstate 40. Angie, let's go ahead and just look at this traffic cam. The radar, we know it's over here uh, in Boston. So let's go right to the traffic cam. This is going to be one of these uh, right around the Interstate 40 in Main Street area. And much like what we see on 77, uh, again, there are clear spots throughout the middle of the road, but there are those little slushy patches that are just sitting there and they're just packed with water. So so imagine yourself going on an inch of liquid. You're going to hydroplane. You're going to hydroplane. D.C., that's where the snow is this morning. And I just mentioned the delay there. Great idea, especially given the fact that it's coming down. The air's a little bit colder. The air's a little bit drier in D.C. So that's where it is. And believe it or not, for the third time this week, we have snow in the forecast for Dallas. Sam, on average, you usually get one snow event a month in February. Yep for Dallas, Texas. I know, we're sure not done with that? it yet, Jim. All right, we're gonna go up to Dave Malkoff. Yeah, uh, oh, sorry, what was that, Sam? No, I'm just saying we're sure not done with it yet, Jim. We're sure not. There's more, certainly, for the weekend all the way through. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Kansas City's included in that as well. All right, let's go up to Norfolk, Virginia. Still snowing this morning. They had a little thunder snow uh, back around Chesapeake, but uh, a man who has no problem making snowballs this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave Malkoff from Norfolk, Virginia. Dave, good morning. <laughs> Great intro. Hey, we went to bed last night with not one snowflake on the ground. There were some patchy areas left over from earlier storms, but nothing on the ground, nothing coming out of the sky. Look at this. What a difference the overnight hours make in some places. Wow, we're getting some wind right now, and we were getting some earlier today being pelted with, uh, with a lot of sleet. Ow, that hurts. Yeah, um, in some places they have actually six inches of snow on the ground. We're not seeing that necessarily here, but look at how it's really sticking to the vegetation. 
and it's sticking to the roadsides and the roads. This is very heavy packable snow with wet slushy stuff underneath. That's why schools are closed. That's why the world's largest naval base supporting 75 ships here has asked their non-essential personnel not to show up at work. But Sam, you know, at a big naval base like that, there's a lot of essential personnel. Yep. So people do have to drive to work in these conditions. Oh yeah, military families on alert this morning, just trying to get everybody out the house in Norfolk. All right, uh, and those are incredible snow pictures for the Mid-Atlantic for this time of year. It oh, yeah. just, we've got a lot on the boards. Yeah, and you know, some of the Mid-Atlantic hasn't seen that much snow so far for the year. So this is really something to be getting that snow, but to places like DC now. Right now. Yeah, and so take a look at the water vapor imagery here. So much energy here in the atmosphere. There is the upper level low right there. And out in front of that, out over the ocean now, fortunately, is where we're seeing most of the precipitation. But in the form of snowfall, we're still seeing that snow working its way through the mid-Atlantic. The good news, you know, for Cantori and those guys that are down near Raleigh and Charlotte is that the back end of this is moving through quickly. Not much more in the uh, range of snow here, but it's across the Northern Delmarva. Virginia into yeah. the Delmarva. Look at that. Yeah, wow, those right are the now. areas I'm really concerned about. So again, we take a look at the Raleigh area. The snow is moving out pretty quickly. Be careful still with driving there because the temperature is below the freezing mark. A couple of bands of heavier snow moving through in this region here now across D.C., Dulles and uh, Reagan. And uh, what well, we lost our webcam there. What I want to show you is over the next couple of hours here, it's this region here. Even Philly is going to get into a little light snow, Sam. The good news is temperatures around that 32 degree mark. So most of your roads, your main roadways are going to be wet. But if you see any slush on those roads, that's where we get into trouble driving wise. All right. And that's important to notice the zone that you just circled right there from D.C. all the way to Philly. A lot of bridges, a lot of elevated overpasses and also exit ramps there. We're on it for you this morning. I know as you run out the door, you're seeing some heavy snow in the mid-Atlantic this morning. And of course, we're going to check all those roads from Charlotte, Raleigh, Philly. We got you the D.C. area into Southern Maryland as well. We'll be right back. minutes after the hour. Glad you're with us on AMHQ this morning as we've got a mid-Atlantic snow event. Take a live look out at the snowy mall. Well, if we could just, yeah, allegedly, if you could just kind of eat kind of like clear that off a little bit. But when you're seeing this, we're thinking of you, Front Royal, Fairfax, Alexandria this morning, uh, Bowie, Maryland, on into Salisbury, Maryland this morning. There's a lot of snow from this winter storm Remus and you're, you're looking at probably one to three inches of snow mm -hmm. and a high of about 35 degrees in the DC area. Jen, it is just sticking this morning. Yeah, it is sticking this morning. And Sam, here's the other thing. You know, it seems like, you know, we've been talking so much about Boston and all those other areas. It almost seems like DC, well, maybe you haven't gotten that much snow, but in fact you have. As we break down this number for you and we show you on average you typically pick up a little more than 5.7 inches of snowfall so far this month 7.6 inches of snowfall so parents does it seem like you're going crazy because you have snow days you're not imagining things you're right the snow is above average as we show you on the radar right now where the heaviest snowfall is the darker shades of blue but really just looking at snow right now but as Sam just said it's sticking and that means you need to be careful on the roadways if you're brave enough to go out DC Baltimore snow still coming down but we're going to time this out for you so you can find an end to when this madness stops. 8 a.m. We're still looking at the snow and the same for D.C. Baltimore as we go later into the morning and the afternoon. It starts to come to an end for D.C. right around noon and then Baltimore by 1, 2 o'clock. You're going to be done with the snowfall, but of course you're going to be left uh, kind of shoveling some of this stuff out. As we th show
show you through Thursday a.m. Generally, we're looking about two inches for the D.C. area. For Baltimore, kind of the same thing for you. Some of these spots, one to two inches, three for Chestertown. And then for Annapolis, it looks like two inches for you. So that's the forecast through Thursday a.m. As we push ahead, we're still going to be looking at more snow to come on a general view. One to three inches. Philadelphia, we didn't forget about you. Even the Cape, we're going to see this kind of clipping this area up and producing more snow. So winter storm Remus, it's not done yet. We still have to just take it through the day. Yeah, later on this morning, Long Island mm -hmm. will be saying that they're seeing snow this morning. The Beltway 95, the world's largest parking lot around D.C. Well, it's even slower today. Uh, hey, Keith Carson right now is uh, in, I believe you're in Raleigh. I think so, Keith. Yes. Keith, what I was struck by your shot is yes. below that icy crust, there's actually standing water. So we've really got to hope that those temperatures keep going up. Otherwise, you've got a block of ice there. Yeah, you, you nailed it, Sam. That's exactly the consistency of the snow out here. It's got water underneath it. It's really, really heavy, and we have to get it out of here. I brought out this shovel to just show you that. It's it's the sloppiest kind of stuff that you can imagine. Under it, you've got a bunch of water, and that's up on the sidewalk. If you go down to the street down here, basically, you're standing in a puddle here. It's just all water. So they got to get out here and try to clear it. And as you can see, this is a main street where it's south side of downtown Raleigh. And there hasn't been a plow that's come through yet. Everything that looks somewhat cleared is just a bunch of tire tracks of people coming through. But a plow has not dropped down on this street yet. Uh, we actually talked to Mike Charbonneau, who is the uh, who is a director there of uh, North Carolina Department of Transportation. Listen to what he had to say about how they are equipped to deal with these kind of storms. Our crews are well trained. Uh, they get at it, of course, to be good stewards of taxpayer money. We don't have the amount of equipment on hand that a Boston or a New York would have, but we uh, do the best we can with what we've got when we've got these things that come through. Yeah, pretty accurate assessment there of, of what it is, and it's kind of the same deal. I talked to him uh, off camera about the same idea about Atlanta saying, okay, we don't get a ton of snow, so is it worth it money-wise to get all the equipment out here to do it? Not necessarily, but when this happens, it's a problem. Uh, Accumulation-wise, we got about three inches here, but some of the jackpots have actually been to the north and northwest of the city itself. Uh, Roxborough, which is about an hour and a half west, they're the jackpot so far with 8.1 inches of snow, and then Ashboro with seven inches of snow. And to Sam's point, we're going to have to watch temperatures here. Uh, it will be reasonable today in the upper 30s. In fact, with the system moving through so quickly, it wouldn't shock me if we brighten the skies later this afternoon. That would help. But we do have some colder weather coming in as we head into later on uh, into the weekend. So if we got to clear yeah. that out, all this out before that happens, Sam, so this doesn't refreeze. Yeah, exactly. Heads up, Raleigh. You're really only getting to 36 today, and that's not a lot to take care of that slush that Keith is showing mm -hmm. you this morning. So definitely get it off your sidewalks, get it off your driveways, mm -hmm. try to get off the roads. Pictures were confirmation of radar last night. Everybody's showing us where the snow was. A lot of people are dealing with the snow also this morning. We have states of emergency in a number of states, including Alabama and Mississippi, which is good for cities that shut down, but a lot of people still have to make it into work. This first picture coming out of Muscle Shoals, Alabama. This yeah. is what you're dealing with this morning. He asked us to wish him luck during good his luck. morning commute, <laughs> and you're going to need it. Yeah. Um, in Alabama, a lot of uh, public what was the hashtag he put there? What's the hashtag? I got it. What was it? Like? Redneck Blizzard 2015. Oh. <laughs> I totally missed that right now. Come on. Meanwhile, in North Carolina, we do have a serious situation. More than 180,000 people, according to emergency officials there, are yeah, without, without power. power this morning. Um, and this person is a realtor, and she says she's not going to be showing any real estate today. Yeah, the thing about North Carolina is we've been talking to them this morning, and they say they're getting on it. They really hope to get that power restored in a lot of these areas by mm -hmm. 6 p.m. So they've really got crews out, but there's a lot of people still without power this morning. Uh, had a big pile up in Maine as we had a little bit of snow. Uh, we were talking about it. You saw it yesterday on the air. We were certainly talking about it. Shutting down a major interstate. Look at this. And I think it was more than 70 cars at that point. So we're going to talk about the weather there. We're going to talk about the weather this morning. This is what we want to avoid today if you're on the Beltway and we're starting to collect some snow today. So just take it easy, folks. Take it easy. It's almost like guess the shot, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Visibility is so bad. <laughs> you can't predict the market, but at TVRO Price, we've helped guide our clients through good times and bad. Our experienced investment professionals are one reason over 85% of our mutual funds beat their 10 year LIBOR averages. So, in a variety of markets, we can help you feel confident. Request a prospectus or summary prospectus with investment information, risks, fees, and expenses to read and consider carefully before investing. Call us or your advisor. 
T. Rowe Price. Invest with confidence. Most homes have air leaks and drafts that waste as much energy as leaving a window open in your home all year long. Call Champion Windows at 844-4-CHAMPION. When you buy two rooms of windows, you'll get the third room free. Call today because every home needs a champion. Anyone have occasional constipation, diarrhea, gas, bloating? Yes. One Phillips Colon Health probiotic. At school. They talked about the digital divide, the gap between people who can access the internet and those who can't, the haves and the have-nots. Well, today, my family becomes one of the haves. Internet Essentials from Comcast offers low-cost computers and internet to lower-income families. It's part of our commitment to making sure that no one gets left behind in the communities we serve. Now that we're online, anything is possible. Comcast, connecting our communities. We live in a pick-and-choose world. Hi. Choose, Hello. choose, choose. Ah. But at bedtime, why settle for this? Enter Sleep Number. Don't miss the final days of the ultimate Sleep Number event. Sleep IQ technology tells you how well you slept and what adjustments you can make. You like the bed soft. He's more hardcore. So your sleep goes from good to great to wow. Now we can all choose amazing sleep only at a Sleep Number store. Right now, save 50% on the ultimate limited edition bed. Hurry, and Sunday. No better sleep with Sleep Number. Call and consultation are free. Call 1-800-307-9899. You know those neighbors always making weird inventions out of junk in their garage? We just gave them their own TV show. Oh! Come on, wind. I think I just made Mother Nature my bed. <laughs> One man's trash. This is perfect. There's another man's wood-powered Jeep gasifier. <laughs> Brainstormers, premiering Sunday, March 22nd, only on the Weather Channel. Stay tuned for your Local on the 8, brought to you by Universal Orlando Resort. There's a place for vacationers who seek more than just a little time off. The ones who choose to go big or stay home. Come with me now. Where every amazing, despicable, wizarding adventure reveals moments that are truly epic. This place is made for those who do more than just vacation. It's made for those who vacation like they mean it. Universal Orlando Resort. minutes after the hour. Whether you're on the road anywhere from Baltimore, Washington, headed south on 95, you'll go through Fredericksburg, Virginia, and this is the way the roads are looking right now this morning. Schools in D.C. are scheduled to open two hours late due to the snow that's falling in the area this morning. In Northern Virginia, schools in Alexandria City, Arlington, Fairfax, Prince William, and Loudoun counties are going to be closed. Amtrak is amending service this morning. Check those train schedules because right now as that snow's moving into the D.C. area, there's a lot of stuff that's shifting and moving around this morning. Do you see how incredible that shot was coming out of Fredericksburg? I mean, yeah. gorgeous out there. Uh, it's beautiful, and those roads are a little slippery, and this is what we want to avoid. These are the shots. More than 75 vehicles evolved in an accident. A snowy I-95. This is west of Bangor, Maine. At least 17 people were injured in this, and you're thinking of Mainers that they know how to drive in snow. This was a rough one yesterday. It's just uh, a little bit west. If you look at how uh, 95 shoots west outside of Bangor there, it's right in that area. Uh, dozens of cars in 
and trucks, a school bus involved in that, tractor trailers and spin outs, and it was just a mess. And so you know that's what? what we don't want. And we, saying that nobody was injured, maybe that is a testament to how great they drive there. I mean, yeah. maybe they know how to respond out of it. It was when you see when you see mm -hmm. it, it, it doesn't look like people came out of there easily, but they did. So Boston, hello, good morning to you. Now second uh, number two uh, with a bullet. It seems like as we get more snow up through the area. Yes, and you know, and we showed you that the temperature is setting up to be one of the coldest, only one degree shy of the previous record. So you're looking at amazing snow amounts as well as cold temperatures. Right now, it's the 20s and the teens out there, but it gets worse, Sam. Yeah, and these are the numbers from 24 to 27 all the way down uh, that that ridge in 95 that takes you all the mm -hmm. way down through uh, Washington, D.C. Yeah. 22 is your wind chill there. Philly, you're about 16 degrees, so it's it's it feels colder than the actual number. And, and look at I Tom know, Nizzle's what's up with place, Buffalo. Buffalo. What's, what's going on over there, Tom Nizzle? What, what, what's up with Buffalo like at three below three. this morning? Yeah. I know, we're getting close to March, though. Right. Uh, so we're we're getting ready to go to Jim Cantori this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, Jim, got a little snow on the ground, got some cold air around you as well this morning, but your roads where you are, actually surprisingly to me, look like they've been plowed. Yeah, we had some pretty heavy rain mixed in with the snow. That's why we underachieved on our snow amounts. But, you know, Sam, the, the, the point that you guys made at the top with the Maine accident, uh, folks in Maine drive almost every day in the month of February in snow. Okay, it's, it's almost a given. But those cars were just mangled. So it really, you know, every time everybody goes, well, how much are we going to get? How much are we going to get? It really doesn't matter. It just really matters what the rate of that snow is, when it falls, how much traffic's on the road, how fast everybody's going. There's so many other little ancillary things in there that matter even more. But again, as we mentioned, uh, two inches of snow here. Nice to be able to have a snowball uh, making snow because we haven't had that certainly in Boston. What a cold, hot, se you know, 17 degrees for an average temperature. That's the high and the low. That's brutal right now in Boston. You can see 77 moving behind me here, a uh, little side street here, this exit, but it's pretty clear. The problems you got to watch out for is when you hit these little patches of slush. All right. I mean, look at this. I mean, look, it's just, it's just like water. You might as well be hydroplaning on an inch of rain uh, coming down because that's what it's going to be like uh, in that area. All right, we actually have effects in Chicago tonight, or right now, I should say, from Remus. And this would be called, I believe, Lake Enhanced. Let's find out. Tom Nizzle, uh, what's going on in Chicago as they are now deploying the plows in that city? 20 plows, I believe. Yeah, the, and temperatures are in the teens. You're getting some snow that not only is coming from Remus, but also off Lake Michigan, one of only two lakes that is not completely ice covered right now so lake effect activity they're probably going to pick up one to three inches there can man so that's why they've got the plows out now let's take a quick look and actually going to go over there to the west right now you can see this area of snow right here that is from remus but i'm going to draw right down the lake here right there is that band of snow that's coming into chicago now out here to the east we're actually seeing what's left of remus working its way very quickly to the northeast here washington baltimore philadelphia the Delta. Marva Peninsula is still going to be under the snow. Here is DC. That's the I-495 Beltway. Notice here that the road's pretty wide open here. I don't see any slush on the roads, but still very wet. And it's not that especially bridges and overpasses, elevated highways still could not be snow covered here. So really got to take your time as you're driving along here. DC over the next few hours here. Again, you can see the snow through about 11 a.m. And then conditions are going to improve beyond that. Hey guys, when I come back in a few minutes, we're going to talk about the this next system already taking shape here in the Aleutians. This system is going to bring jet energy into the center of the country and probably produce our next storm, which could be winter storm Sparta. Sparta is what we're looking at. I, you know, when I think of it, I know, I know uh, Sparta cuss, but I think of a little town in New Jersey, Sparta, New Jersey. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking of you when I hear it yeah. this morning. All right, winter storm Rima is still on the board. Mm -hmm. We've uh, got a lot of snow here, but let's show you two cities side by side that are going on here. Chicago land, you've got lake effect snow going on. DC, you've got full on winter storm Rima snow this morning. We're going to get you up and going. We're going to this program brought to you by AARP, real possibilities. Nabbed, booked, locked up. Case closed? You don't know ARP. Because the AARP Fraud Watch Network means everyone can protect themselves and their families from scams and identity theft. With local alerts, tips from law enforcement, and the inside scoop from former con artists. Real possibilities to stay ahead of the bad guys. If you don't think beat con men at their own game when you think AARP, then you don't know ARP. Find more surprising possibilities and get to know us at aarp.org slash possibilities. Anyone have occasional constipation, diarrhea, gas, bloating? Yes. 
One Phillips Colon Health probiotic cap each day helps defend against these occasional digestive issues with three types of good bacteria. Live the regular life. Phillips. Introducing new Flonase Allergy Relief Nasal Spray. Now available over the counter in full prescription strength. When we breathe in allergens, our bodies react by overproducing six key inflammatory substances that cause our symptoms. The leading allergy pill only controls one. Flonase controls six. And six is greater than one. Flonase, the 24-hour relief that outperforms the number one allergy pill. So go ahead. Inhale life. New Flonase. Six is greater than one. This changes everything. At last. Sometimes at last doesn't happen at first. My love has come along. My lonely days. Hey Dad, just kiss my mom. Are over. Turning two worlds into one takes love. And life is like a song. Helping protect that world takes State Farm. a headache. But now, I don't. Excedrin is fast. In fact, for some, relief starts in just 15 minutes. Excedrin. Wow, that was fast. Sometimes the best used car on the road is the one you're still using. Right now, get a synthetic blend oil change, including a free battery check for only $21.99 at Firestone Complete Auto Care. Whatever you drive, drive a Firestone. Good job. Still running in the morning? Yeah. Getting your vegetables every day? When I can. Could have had a V8. Two full servings of vegetables for only 50 delicious calories. Captain's Log, Day of Discovery. Today, our junior crew members declared their newfound independence. While the young cadets explored uncharted territory, the Admiral and I discovered the Fountain of Youth. Later, we were treated to a royal banquet. And after a brief skirmish with pirates, we celebrate it with cannon fire. All in all, another fine day at sea. Disney Cruise Line. When it comes to pleasing everyone, the difference is Disney. Are you a man over 40 and feeling tired? Losing muscle? Have less romantic drive? Then you need Ageless Male with an ingredient clinically shown to increase free testosterone levels. Ageless Male is now available at these fine retailers. So we've got like 60 years of experience here. And that's just Sam. Jim Cantori, now on AMHQ. Weekday mornings at 7. the hour right here on AMHQ. So glad you're with us this morning. We're talking about this major winter storm that's kind of skirted through the south, now moving into the mid-Atlantic, verified with the southern snowstorm. But uh, let's bring in Jim Cantore as we'll split screen this area. Uh, Jim, I'll tell you, all day long we were talking about who would get snow and who wouldn't. So when we show everybody these right. pictures of Atlanta and a little bit north of Atlanta, Atlanta with clean roads this morning, just north seven inches. What's your take on how this snowstorm verified moving through the south? Uh, I think it came along very well, actually. Um, what did uh, Atlanta go for? Do we have uh, at ATL? Do we have t a trace? Maybe. I mean, that's what we were calling for in the yeah. Weather Channel. Zero, right? We got Barely. a couple of inches we had in Birmingham. Snow. Yep. We were calling for four. We 
Yeah, we totally underachieved uh, in Charlotte, uh, underachieved in Raleigh, in my opinion. Bonus now, I think, in Virginia, especially D.C., that seems to be bigger because we have banding now with a mature cyclone. But the biggest bonus to me, Sam, was northern Alabama. We had over a foot of snow in northern Alabama, in Hamilton, Alabama. Uh, 8.1 in Huntsville, which was a new record for any calendar day in the month of February in Huntsville, Alabama. So, uh, you know, I, I think model-wise, in terms of how close this was, the snow gradient, I think it did pretty well, to be honest with you, especially the, the RPM model, which was actually a, a lot warmer uh, than some of the global models like the European. Right, and now we'll take this storm uh, all the way into the D.C. area, and there is a lot of delays. Jim, you just said it. It's popping. It's really blossoming this morning from D.C. all the way into Baltimore, northern Virginia. You're in it as well. Uh, on the phone, we've got Linda Grant with us, who's the public information officer for the Department of Public Works in D.C. Hey, Linda, good morning. Glad you're with us this morning. How are you? I'm doing just fine, thanks, and I could, I could see all of you were doing well. Yeah, we've got a lot to talk about this morning, and Atlanta did well with this storm. All the roads were treated. It feels like you're driving on a gravel road this morning when you're driving through Atlanta. There's so much stuff flying. What's it like in the D.C. area? Ahead of this storm, did you guys get a chance to pre-treat these roads? Absolutely. Yesterday morning, we started with our sodium chloride and beet juice uh, mixture of uh, brine and beet juice to put on the bridges and ramps, and that helps mm -hmm. to retard freezing. Then uh, later uh, yesterday evening, we had our uh, crews come out. We are on our routes at 1 a.m. this morning. Yeah. And at 4, when the snow started falling, they started dropping salt. Now, there's a lot of changes going on in D.C. this morning. It feels like there's more snow coming in than a lot of people were expecting, and it's coming during the drive. What do you want people to know as they're coming into the city? First of all, we want people to be very careful. We want them to drive cautiously. Take all of the snow that is accumulated on your car off before you start driving. We don't want to have accidents caused because of snow and ice falling onto someone's windshield yep. who's following behind. We want people to drive slowly. Slow is good. So we just want everyone to be aware that if you don't have to go out, we know that, you know, government is going to be open. Yeah. But if you don't have to go out, please stay home. Uh, we're looking forward to the end of this sometime late morning, early afternoon. So delay running those errands if you possibly can. Yep. And we've got uh, government, by the way, on a two hour delay. So just take your time getting in this morning and hopefully a lot of that snow will move out. Linda Grant, thank you. And thank you for actually reminding us to tell people to not just clear the windshield and the side windows, but get that snow off the top of the car as well, because it can be a real problem when it slaps somebody in the windshield right behind you. Mm -hmm. These temperatures in the southeast are going to come up a little bit. That's good news. Jen. Yeah, that's the good news. But the problem is, Sam, it's going to be one of those short lived warm ups across parts of the southeast. I know you got the snow on the ground. You're saying make it go away. Well, today we start off right now showing you temps in the 30s below freezing and see for Nashville as well as into Little Rock, Atlanta at 34 degrees in the 40s and the 60s down towards the south. Now we talk about the warm up for today. We're going to get to all the good stuff, right? Well, notice we're going to see highs in the 40s. We haven't been in the 40s in quite a while. 58 for Tallahassee, 37 degrees in Raleigh, and 39 degrees in Nashville. That's pretty good. The problem is another blast of that cold air comes in place. And as we show you Friday morning, we're going to start off with temperatures in the 20s, 21 degrees. So say in those areas like in North Georgia, as well as in Raleigh, those places that aren't cleared out, uh, we're going to be looking at freezing there and we'll be looking at icy conditions. Lows for tomorrow morning running about 15 degrees below average 20 in Lexington with a low of 11 degrees. And then we jump ahead through Saturday. It's still going to be cold out there. We're going to start to moderate a bit and then notice 37 for Memphis, 30 in Atlanta. And then we jump ahead for the weekend. We've got a couple cities for you for Charlotte. Friday, 43 degrees. It's nice. Cools on Saturday. Rain coming on Sunday. Well, you'd rather have the rain on Sunday as opposed to the icy conditions that we're expecting here in Atlanta on Sunday. And then for Miami, you're going to be smoking hot out there. High temperatures near 80 degrees. I suspect a sick day out of Sam on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, when I heard it was in the 80s and near record heat in Miami today, it sure had me thinking about it. Let's take a look at the roads this morning in Charlotte. We've got some folks driving the roads. Thank you, WCNC, for showing us what they look like around Charlotte. Jack's heart attack didn't come with a warning. Today, his doctor has him on a bare aspirin regimen to help reduce the risk of another one. If you've had a heart attack, be sure to talk to your doctor before you begin an aspirin regimen. 
Do you take your eyes off the road when you get a phone call? Or when you take a turn, does your phone take a fall? Then you need the incredible Clever Grip by Bell & Howell. The new smartphone clip with a super strong grip. No more fumbling for your phone and looking away from the road. Clever Grip holds your phone at eye level without blocking your vision. And the 360-degree pivoting head rotates for easy viewing. Perfect for driving with GPS. Take next left. Streaming your music. Hello? Or hands-free calling. I'm using my new Clever Grip. Clever Grip fits any style air vent, and the spring-loaded clamp holds everything tight, from the smallest flip phones to the largest smartphone. Those other mounts obstruct your vision, are hard to reach, and eventually lose suction. They never hold, but Clever Grip mounts at the perfect height, just like your car's most important gauges. You get a clear view of the road and easy access to all your phone's functions. Even this heavy brick is no match for Clever Grip. It works with your favorite phone cases and those bulky battery packs. It's great for passengers watching videos. And Clever Grip goes from the car to the house. And now you have an instant stand in the palm of your hand. It's the ideal stand for people who travel. It's the portable clip with the amazing grip. Call and order your Clever Grip by Bell & Howell today for just $14.95. Available only through this special TV offer. But wait, if you call right now, we'll give you a second Clever Grip free. Just pay separate processing. Perfect for every driver in the family. We guarantee you'll love it or your money back. So don't delay. Get Clever Grip today. To get your Clever Grip for only $14.95 and get a second one free, call 1-800-549-0620 or go to buycleverGrip.com. That's 1-800-549-0620. Order yours today. When John Huntsman was diagnosed with cancer, he didn't just vow to beat it. I vowed to eradicate it from the earth. So he founded Huntsman Cancer Institute. Everything about it would be different. It would feel different, look different, and fight cancer in new and different ways. With the largest genetic database on Earth that combines 300 years of family histories with health records to treat, predict, and in many cases, prevent cancer. We made it welcoming and warm with a focus on beauty, serenity, and getting on with life. Huntsman Cancer Institute is the only cancer hospital in the world designed by a patient with the vital understanding that cancer moves fast. And we have to move faster. To learn more or support the cause, go to HuntsmanCancer.org. This March, one man's trash did the worst. This is another man's totally awesome beer can space eater. Hi. Brainstormers, premiering Sunday, March 22nd, only on the Weather Channel. minutes past the hour. Good morning to you in Florida. I know you woke up to some of the thunder out there as well as the rain moving through. And we should show you this is all because of Remus, the cold front. And you can see all the snow to the north of it. But look at the line of storms that have been moving through. We actually had some reports of some tornado warnings out there. But really all we saw were just some straight line wind reports. As we show you, you can see there's still some lightning out there. So we're not expecting anything severe. But keep in mind, we are still talking about lightning out there. Now we time this out for you. This is 7 a.m. We're going to 
stop the clock as that front pushes to the south by 11 a.m. You can see just to the north of Port Lucie. I know a lot of things going on in Florida today. The Honda Classic. I know all the golf fans are excited by that. And then we go 3, 4 o'clock. Notice it's going to fall apart. So Miami, you're going to clear out. But the thing you need to notice, those winds coming in from the south, and that's going to allow for your temperatures to explode today. You're going to see numbers pretty much near 90 degrees. Orlando, isolated storms out there to start off your morning. And then another chance at 2 o'clock because it's Orlando, and that's what it does in Orlando, right? For Miami, we're going to look at a high today of 89 degrees. Today's record was 88. That was set back in 1897. I know you're saying, wow, we can finally get into some of this record with the highs mm -hmm. after such a cold low last week. You still have to be here one more day. So <laughs> while you're in La La Land in Miami, you're still in Atlanta 89. where it's cold. We're Sam. a little bit late in opening the uh, AMHQ Bureau in Miami. We should have it uh -huh. all wide open today. We have it. All right. <laughs> All right, let's get started back into the Carolinas with a live radar that right now to show you the snow that's still falling, kind of pushing east a little bit, moving up toward Washington, uh, all the way into, yeah, Long Island. You're just about to get into some uh, at this hour. Got it in through South Jersey and Central Jersey as well. But on the phone, uh, looking for a my weather this morning is Brent Moody, who's Director of Business Development for Pharmatech. And Brent lives in Cary, North Carolina. Morning, Brent. How are you? Hey, Sam, how are you doing? Good morning. I, I'm doing good. Thank you for talking to us this morning. First, give me an idea of what it's like outside in the neighborhood this morning. Well, it's cold. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> it's cold, a little snowy. We got a little dump on us last night. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it does today. All right. Have, have you gotten out and taken care of the driveway and uh, gotten out and uh, seen what it looks like outside the house yet? Yeah, we looked outside. We haven't gone out in it just yet. My kids are waking up, so they're going to want to be out in it pretty soon. All right, let's get to that because uh, not only do you, do you have your lovely wife, Brooke, there, but you've got three boys, and they've only had one day of school. If I'm right here, in the last two weeks, are you kidding me? No, nah, that's true. Yeah, that's what we're dealing with. So what are you, whatever, what's your strategy? What are you doing? Just bundle them up and send them out. <laughs> I, I gotta say, that's the way I was raised. They would just open the door and tell us to come back at dinner time. But um, I know you've been probably out there sledding with them because we just saw some of the pictures that you had sent in to us and keeping them outside. The boys are probably thinking this is awesome, I think. Yeah, they love this. They're, they're happy. I don't know how they're gonna handle going back to school. Yeah, that's going to be the tough part. All right, uh, thanks for calling us. We thought we'd give you a forecast since you asked for it, but I, I appreciate you giving us a look around your neighborhood and telling us uh, what you're into uh, in Cary, North Carolina today. 8 a.m., 10 a.m., we'll take you all the way to 8 p.m. There's still a little light snow falling, but you're going to kick it out pretty quickly uh, this morning, uh, Brent. And it looks like by afternoon, we've got the clouds, and you may get above freezing and stay there for a while. Generally from 12 all the way to about 4 or 5 o'clock in the evening, you're going to be above that freezing mark. So it'll really slush up. They'll be nice and wet when they're coming in uh, after playing outside today. Hashtag my weather is where you invite us into your home in the morning and we'll gladly come in. I'd bring you a cup of coffee if I could, uh, but at least we can have coffee together and give you a little forecast. Hey Rod, we've got the news of the day today. Good morning, Sam. Good morning to you at home. Topping our headlines this hour, we head to Kentucky. The National Guard there is helping get water to tens of thousands of people after cold weather has frozen pipes and broken water lines. Fallen trees also down power lines causing water pumps to go out. Some people have been without running water for more than a week. Meanwhile, in the Northeast, recreational marijuana is now legal in Washington, D.C. Starting today, residents can legally use marijuana on private property if they are 21 years old. Republicans in Congress are threatening prison time for city leaders who say they are just doing what the voters want. And in Boston, you're going to have to stop using those chairs, those cones, and the trash cans to save the snow-shoveled parking spaces. The mayor says no more space savers starting Monday when crews are going to start clearing them out and this is a big deal in Boston which has seen an eight feet of snow in the last month. This is also happening in Chicago. Chicago started taking people's space savers. Having lived in Boston, Sam, you haven't lived in the Northeast. Yeah. You really do understand what people value less than a parking spot. And you see some odd things out there. Yeah, I, I've got to say, <laughs> it's one of the most important things in your life because you need a place to, to park. Yeah. And if a lot of them are taken up by snow. But here's the good news about that. They're only doing it to get rid of all your snow and you can go back to normal parking. All right, there's one more winter storm. Uh, this one's on the West Coast. Could be become a big snowmaker. Where this is going to track, we're going to show you the biggest impacts. And this morning, we're in the mid-Atlantic this morning. We're taking you a live look at Reagan National Airport. And uh, to our, I'm going to click that up right now, guys. Have we looked at uh, FlightAware yet? 
I'm getting it right now. So as soon as we come back from the break, we'll check your airports and I'll let you know if anybody's got a delay or doesn't. Great. This is the last thing I need. Seriously? The last thing you need is some guy giving you a new catalytic converter when all you got is a loose gas cap. What? It is that simple sometimes. Thanks. Now, let's take this puppy over to Midas and get you some of that good old Midas touch. You know what? I'll drive. And I have no feet. I really didn't think this through. Trust the Midas touch for brakes, tires, oil, everything. Thank you. Now? If your bladder is calling the shots, you may have a medical condition called overactive bladder, or OAB. You've got to be kidding me. I've had enough. It's time to talk to the doctor. Ask your doctor how Mirbetric may help treat OAB symptoms of urgency, frequency, and leakage, which may mean fewer trips to the bathroom. Mirbetric Mirbegron may increase your blood pressure. Mirbetric may increase your chances of not being able to empty your bladder. Tell your doctor right away if you have trouble emptying your bladder or have a weak urine stream. Mirbetric may affect or be affected by other medications, so tell your doctor about all the medicines you take. Before taking Mirbetric, tell your doctor if you have liver or kidney problems. Common side effects include increased blood pressure, common cold symptoms, urinary tract infection, and headache. Take charge by talking to your doctor about your OAB symptoms and Mirbetric. Find out if you can get your first prescription at no cost by visiting Mirbetric.com. Dinovite can support every dog's good health with omega-3s, zinc, vitamins, and the digestive enzymes that may be missing from your dog's diet. Her belly is all better and she feels better. Give your dog Dinovite! Want to see more? Just voice search Festival Collective on your X1 remote app to find current films. Or go to On Demand to find Film Festival Collective under Get Local. It's a little known fact that when you whip up a bowl of smooth, buttery, hungry jack mashed potatoes on fish stick night, they'll honor you with a moment of silence. Award-winning Hungry Jack Mashed Potatoes. Eczema can just really put a damper on a lot of things. Constant itching and scratching. I'm not myself. Gold Bond Eczema Relief Cream. Used daily, it's proven to relieve five frustrating symptoms of eczema. Gold Bond Eczema Relief really works. Just $14.99. Call or log on now. This special doggy deal is not available in stores. Atlantic Beach, Florida. Oh, I love it. Home of Louisiana. Oh, fantastic food. Carefree, Arkansas. Been there. Looneyville, Texas. Done that. Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. Oh, Phil and I go way back. <laughs> love that little animal. Weekday mornings, Jim Cantori, Sam Champion, and Jennifer Delgado on AMHQ, starting at 7. So we've got like 60 years of experience here, and that's just Sam. Weekday mornings at 7, only on the Weather Channel.
49 minutes after the hour. Sam and Jim with you this morning, and we're just going to show you uh, Reagan National, and I'll let you know that we did check on it, as promised. 34 flights have been canceled in that area. D.C. now has 1.3 officially inches of snow. Philly has some delays, Jim. Uh, a little bit of a ground stop going on there because the visibility is so bad in Philadelphia right now. This thing has really pumped up from uh, northern Virginia all the way to Philly and into Jersey, too. Yeah, it's kind of interesting uh, when we when we kind of watch what's happened here over the last 24 hours. We started seeing the snow certainly move from Dallas to Shreveport, across northern Louisiana, southern Arkansas, into Alabama by 10 a.m., where they really overachieved. I mean, 8 to 12 inches in the northern part of the state was a big bonus. That's where most of the snow really fell, Sam. Then we moved across north Georgia during the mid-morning, uh, then North Carolina. It started snowing here in Charlotte when it was 42 degrees. So we warmed a little bit, and I think that's why our snow totals were down uh, along I-85, but that doesn't mean we don't have impacts. As a matter of fact, most of the power outages uh, across the country right now in terms of the snow, this snow event are right here in the state of North Carolina and stick around at the top of the hour. We will talk to the governor uh, about that and how his state is, is doing the, the only state to issue a state of emergency at this time. All right, let's get to the news here a little bit. News, what a pattern, huh? Quantum, boom, Remus, uh, next storm already coming in and maybe for the third time in a week. Snow in Dallas, where they average snow once a month in February. Yeah, we're getting into that time of the year, though, where we see these storms starting to cut out of the Rockies once in a while and get the Southern Plains, Jim. And this is one that we're going to have to watch. It could be winter storm Sparta. Let's show you where the energy is associated with this. I'm going to go over to our water vapor imagery from the satellite. It helps to not only show moisture in the atmosphere, but the large scale flow in the atmosphere. And we've got a really strong area of, of uh, strong winds here, a jet streak in the atmosphere that is south of the Aleutians now. So let's see how that is going to help to fuel the weather as we go into the weekend. There is that jet stream right now and watch as we go forward in time here, how it drops down into the Four Corners region of the U.S. It's going to develop a lot of snow across the Colorado Rockies here. Skiers are going to love this because it really is going to reinvigorate that snowpack there. But as it lifts northeastward, again, the strong area of cold or of, of uh, jet stream winds here, 200 miles an hour plus, going to serve as the racetrack that our surface weather system is going to move on as we go through the weekend. So in the Friday time frame, the snow cuts out of the Colorado and New Mexico Rockies, the Southern Rockies, down across the panhandle of Texas and Oklahoma. And then as we go into the weekend, instead of tracking eastward here with cold air, the system is going to track in this direction here. To the north and west of the track, we'll see snow developing around Kansas City, the wintry mix into Oklahoma Saturday. And then as we get into Sunday, this entire area is going to work northward across places like Chicago, Cleveland, and even into Buffalo. We see the wintry mix here to the south. And look at this. This is fascinating. We actually are going to see some icing conditions down in parts of northern Georgia, just to the lee of the Appalachians up through the Carolinas. The reason we're going to have cold air that is going to be brought down here, cold air damming we refer to here, or as a, uh, as a wedge of cold air that will keep the surface temperatures well below the freezing mark Sunday morning here and this is going to uh, result in icing conditions from Atlanta up through Asheville and these regions right here may be as far north as Knoxville so going to church services Sunday morning we're going to have to watch that temperatures just below the freezing mark with a potential for a little uh, uh, icing here and again out through the Midwest and the Great Lakes enough snow to probably make this our next name storm which could be winter storm Sparta uh -huh. all right so we'll just keep rolling with those winter storms meanwhile while rolling with the pictures. North Carolina is showing up this morning. They are morning. really getting hammered this morning, and we're seeing a lot of pictures coming out of that area. A continual increase in power outages. Emergency officials say there are now over 200,000 people without power. One of them, RY9581, saying, I woke, woke up, up to this. with no power this yeah. morning. Um, a lot of the snow, they say, is heavy. This person, you can hear tree branches cracking and falling. So obviously, this is what could be weighing down on power lines and weighing down on tree branches. Virginia, 13 thousand people without power. This is on the west side of the Hampton Roads uh, bridge Newport tunnel. News. Yeah, and have Newport a winter news. storm warning yeah. until one o'clock this afternoon. So it'll be interesting. There are a lot of tunnels in this area. Mm -hmm. If power does go out, I'm sure they have emergency generators, um, but that's what they're dealing with. Keep sending us those pictures. Hashtag my weather at AMHQ. And since everybody's a little bit delayed and slowed down this morning, this is, these are so such beautiful images this yeah. morning. Mm -hmm. Get out and take the shots for your next year's Christmas card because it 
will never True, be idea. this beautiful we in the hope South. That it won't be yeah, this beautiful. <laughs> that we don't South. see more. And, right. and you know, and the other thing too, Gwinnett County in Georgia, that is actually trending. One of the top ten weather trends on Twitter right now. Hello, little duckies. You just that's from the me. Virginia yeah. DOT. <laughs> they say people aren't the only ones having problems on Virginia roads this morning. Those are mallards. Oh. Our social producer says she can identify them from 30 paces. I didn't know what kind of duckies they were. It's, it's pretty a, neat. It's a woman right. and a man just rolling through the street. Just, <laughs> having, just try, trying to get the where love, they need to go. Love. Everybody is this morning. We'll continue our coverage <laughs> and getting you out the door in the Mid-Atlantic. If a denture were to be put under a microscope, we can see all the bacteria that still exists. Polyden's unique microclean formula works in just three minutes, killing 99.99% of odor-causing bacteria for a cleaner, fresher, brighter denture every day. Good job. Still running in the morning? Yeah. Getting your vegetables every day? When I can. Could have had a V8. Two full servings of vegetables for only 50 delicious calories. Andrew, Rita, Sandy, meet Chris, Jackie, Joe, minor damage or major disaster, when you need us most, we're there, State Farm, we're a force of nature too. It may seem strange, but people really can love their laxative, especially when it's Miralax. It hydrates, eases, and softens to unblock your system naturally, so you have peace of mind from start to finish. Love your laxative, Miralax. Ring, ring. Progresso. I can't believe I'm eating bacon and rich creamy cheese before my sister's wedding. Well, it's only 100 calories, so you'll be ready for that dress. Uh-huh. You don't love the dress? I love my sister. 40 flavors, 100 calories or less. Grandpa Bodie. Grandma said you used to be out of control. Really? I guess I did take some risks. I trained a little bit differently. I was a little too honest sometimes. The media is useless. You were out of control. But not always. Does anybody know how I can get a small business loan fast? I'm a chef. I'm a stylist. I sell tires for your car. I'm a duck in private practice. That's my name above that bar. Rapid Advance. Help my business grow. Rapid Advance. They didn't say no. Rapid Advance. I got approval in a day. Rapid Advance. I got my money right away. With Rapid, there's no hassles, no credit checks galore. You just need to be in business for a year or more. Call 877-GO-RAPID or visit rapidadvance.com. Get up to $300,000 in just days. 877-GO-RAPID. Rapid Advance, they didn't say no. Rapid Advance, they help your or rapidadvance.com. Your money's here. This March, one man's trash. This is perfect. Is another man's wood-powered Jeep gasifier. <laughs> Brainstormers, premiering Sunday, March 22nd, only on the Weather Channel.
Top of the hour to you, you're right on time. Uh, that's your local weather on the 8th, and an amazing Thursday starts right here. We're this much closer to Friday. It's been a rough week, and we still have a lot of winter to talk about. Chicagoland, good morning to you. Anywhere from Chicago to St. Louis, we're getting snow this morning. In Chicago, it's truly lake effect. 20 degrees below average this morning, sub-zero lows tomorrow, and a lake effect snow advisory right now until noon. So there's still a lot of weather in the board in the heartland. A winter weather advisory in Washington as we shift a little focus into the mid-Atlantic. City schools on a two-hour delay. The I-95 corridor is really getting laid with snow right now, just stacked up. Winter storm Remus is still pulling through the mid-Atlantic on into the northeast and clipping a little bit of northern New Jersey. Philly, by the way, has some problems at the airport on a ground stop just due to they can't see very much. The Carolinas this morning, we're with you. We're live as you stacked up some snow through the night and into the morning. Jim Cantori's in Charlotte. And Jim, this thing is still really pumping out snow this morning, moving north. Yeah, it really is, Sam. I mean, we started snowing yesterday here when it was 42 degrees. Uh, the National Weather Service out of Greenville, Spartanburg, actually estimates that our snow ratio, snow to liquid, were about 5 to 6 to 1. On average, we're 10 to 1. In Boston earlier this month, we had 16 to 25 to 1. So obviously, it all depends on what's happening. It was like white mud coming out of the skies. The good news is we are 34 degrees. The roads are actually in great shape. We're going to see some sunshine coming through, and that's going to help the conditions out. But you know what? If you think about it, Sam, uh, no other state really except North Carolina and maybe Virginia had to have their entire state deal with this snow event. So state of emergency and most of the power outages existing right here in the state of North Carolina. Yeah, Jim, that's important. And because of what you exactly just said right there, we're going to talk to the governor. Let's take a live look at, nor at road conditions in North Carolina. Uh, this is Interstate 440 near Raleigh. Uh, this is a North Carolina DOT cam. And you can see that the main roads right through there, the interstates are looking pretty good. What we've seen in some of the city roads is we've seen a good stacking of slush. And this is crusty ice with a lot of water content in this snow. Governor pra Pat McCrory uh, is with us this morning. Hey, uh, Governor, thank you so much for joining us. You've got a difficult day ahead. You had a very heavy wet snow through the state. Talk to us a little bit about what's going on right now. Well, for the second year in a row and for the second time this year, we've had, it, as, as was stated, a, a major storm that covers the whole state from the west to the east, uh, all the way from Asheville, all the way down to the coast. And that's very unusual for North Carolina, and it puts tremendous strain on our resources. The good news is in the Charlotte area, the Asheville area, it wasn't nearly as bad as anticipated. We're having good news with the roads and so forth there. The bad news is in the Raleigh-Durham area, we're having major power outages, which was not anticipated based upon the projections. Yeah. But yeah. in, in Raleigh-Durham right now, we've got about 200, over 200,000 people without power as of uh, about an hour ago. So that's a major issue for us at this point in time. Yeah, that heavy, wet snow uh, was sitting on those uh, those limbs. And we, we're hearing from a lot of people who are hearing them cracking this morning uh, as we bring those temperatures up a little bit. So as difficult as it has to be, because I'm sure you've got part of the state that you have snow equipment ready to go, and then you have part of the state that really doesn't deal with a lot of it. So how are you going to be shifting that around? Let's talk about power outages today. What are you guys going to try to do to get ahead of it? Well, we're getting used to this type of uh, equation happening, scenario happening, and both the utilities, uh, the electric utilities, and our DOT trucks, Department of Transportation trucks, are ready to move at a moment's notice uh, along with our highway patrol where we're having the problems. And so we're shifting resources as we speak to those counties that are getting hit the hardest uh, with the ice and and very tough conditions and also with the power outages and we just learned you got to adapt that's the difficulty yeah. for us right now people don't realize how large north carolina is all the way across the state but we're learning to shift the resources over as quick as possible from where we need them to where they need to, you know, from where they, uh, the problems aren't as uh, strong Go at this Governor, point. Governor, from what I've, from what I've seen, you guys are doing a pretty good job in trying to be mobile. Jim Cantori's in Charlotte this morning. Jim, uh, while we've got the governor on the phone, do you have something you want to chat with him about? Yeah, Governor, I just wanted to ask you, you know, ha having that state of emergency, uh, is that going to allow you to get more help than you normally would be able to and get power back on sooner? Absolutely, and it gives us lift some restrictions that we have on utility trucks regarding weights and, weight, weights and other needs. So it, it gives a lot of uh, um, flexible uh, needs to our utility trucks, both electric utilities and our DOT. And in the Charlotte area, for example, where you are right now, we're 
I also have a home where I, I was mayor for 14 years. Uh, the roads aren't nearly as bad as we anticipated. And in fact, we got a little criticism. We held off on plowing the roads, waiting for more snow, and some of that snow did not come. Uh, so that's good news for us. But we're doing good in Charlotte area. In the, in the Raleigh-Durham area, we've had a couple of downed trees and, a, a, and downed utility lines. So that's caused us some really big problems in the east at this point in time. And also the Greensboro area. Yeah, that's where the bulk of it is. Hard too. Greensboro went to the Salem High. Yeah, that's where the bulk uh, of it is. And Governor, and, and Governor, unlike last year when you had the snow events in, in Charlotte and Raleigh, uh, we got into a bitter cold situation. In this case, we're actually going to get a little help from Mother Nature this time. It's not going to get as cold. So you got to be happy about yeah, that, that's, right? Yeah, that's great news. Last week, we had the major storm where we literally got down to the uh, zero degrees, right. which is very rare for North Carolina. So we hope to get the warm weather quick. Uh, and uh, so we can all start playing golf again in the next week. Amen to that. Thank you, sir. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us this morning about the state of North Carolina. And again, I think that the point that the, the governor made and we made at the top of the hour was the fact that you don't just have uh, Charlotte and Raleigh here. You go from the beautiful western mountains of North Carolina all the way out to the seacoast. So that's a lot of real estate to cover. And in this case, it was mostly snow except for the southeastern tip, which got it two days ago uh, from, from Quantum. All right, let's bring in the NIS to see if we're going to get eventually a storm named Sparta. Pretty much NIS following initially anyway, the same trajectory as the previous two, right, into Texas. Yeah, and Jim, we're going to talk about that this morning. Right now, we've got this snow that's falling into the D.C. area, into the Delmarva. We've got South Jersey getting snow right now, Philly, with that ground stop at the airport. So we'll let's get this system off the air, and then we've got another one to talk about. Well, yeah, and the good news is most of the energy and moisture with the system is off the coast, but we still have this area of snowfall that we're dealing with. And I want to outline this. The good news, as I said, look at the back edge of this. It's continuing to move northeastward as we get the slug of drier air with our jet stream working its way across the region. But it's the Delmarva Peninsula in through portions of southern Maryland and into southern Jersey that I'm really concerned about, Sam. Now, let's talk about how long they're going to be under this punch of snow. This is, look at the shades of blue there. That's accumulating snow. Uh, in some cases, I'm guessing that's more than an inch an hour. Well, we are seeing some banding of the snow, and the banding shows where we could get a half inch to an inch an hour. The saving grace here, temperatures right around the 30 32 degree marks. So roads right now, major roads are not that snow slickened, but all you have to do is drop another couple of degrees. Look at Hagerstown. Here. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Get a little elevation. And, and that's, that's what's my happening. concern. And again, we're looking at the 495 beltway now and you can see traffic's moving along and I don't see much in the way of no, slush it looks snow good. covered roads there. That is good news. All right. That's very good news. But in the city, uh, we've seen some problems with some of those roads. And remember that government's on a two hour delay there. So uh, if we're timing this out, do you feel like it's about lunchtime that this pulls out? of Philly and all the way off the coast of New Jersey? Certainly pulls off Washington by lunchtime. Philly could hang in there just a little bit longer. Let's watch how that goes. So there's 1130 a.m. It looks like as we get into about 2, 3 in the afternoon that Philly and New York will begin to wind down. New York's going to get probably a few flakes more snow for show than anything else, but it's something that we have to watch. Another 1 to 3 inches in here during that time frame. Though. Let me just add, now that I'm looking at this right yeah. now, and I see the difference between the radar and where the model is, we can extend some of that color up to Long Island. Long Island's going to get some snow today. That's correct. You are going to get it right across here. And again, I'm probably looking at an inch or so, not too much more than that. But nevertheless, they are going to get some snow during the day. All right. So this is one of those things where you just got to stay with us as we continue to watch what's left of Remus as it kicks a little snow. Still in the Delmarva, New York. Yes. Long Island. Yes. Even a little uh, toward the Cape. Yeah, maybe a little right on the Cape, Sam. All right. We're and not done with snow. it yet. We'll be right back. Currently in our area, 76 degrees under partly cloudy skies with windy conditions. Today, mostly cloudy and windy. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High 87. Tonight, cloudy intervals. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low, 64. Friday, morning showers. Thunder possible. High, 75. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven-day outlook.
nine minutes after the hour. Take a look at the White House this morning, and it is all white. Uh, the sky around it, the ground around it, the bushes around it, the trees are bare. Uh, this is a good hit of snow this morning for D.C., expecting about one to three inches. And if you're trying to get on the train uh, out of D.C. or trying to get out of Union Station in D.C., just make sure Amtrak has canceled a lot of their Mid-Atlantic Regional Service for Thursday, so make sure that you know uh, whether that train's going. I'm looking at uh, some of the regionals. It seems that the Acellas haven't been canceled, but some of those regionals have as well this morning. Let's go to Dave Malkoff, a little bit south of D.C. area in Norfolk, Virginia, uh, where we have uh, a lot of folks on pause this morning for heavy snow in Norfolk. Good morning, Dave. Yeah, pause and, and listen to this. If we play, press play on the wind machine, listen to this for a second. Yeah, you can hear it really blowing around here. Uh, it is sticking to all the street signs around here, and it's also sticking to the roadways. If we go underneath what is six inches of snow in some places around here, you'll find this very thick layer of uh, icy slow, snow slush mix there. That's because the sleet came down in the overnight hours. This is what was created by just the last few hours while people were sleeping here in the Hampton Roads area. We went to bed with absolutely nothing on the ground, and now we have all of this. That means schools are closed. That means the world, listen to that wind, listen to that wind, yeah world's largest naval base supporting 75 ships here, it's big, is asking all of its non-essential personnel not to come to work today, not to brave, brave all of this, because they just don't want people slipping and sliding on the roads. But as you know, there's a lot of essential personnel at a naval base like that, so a lot of people do have to come through. Let's take a look at one of our DOT cams that we have here in the city of Norfolk, and pronouncing that correctly for you. Uh, you can see that it is slippy and slidey all over this entire region. We got a lot of snow here, and it's very wet. So uh, if you drive around here, just anecdotally, Sam, we went over to the 7-Eleven this morning, and it was dead for 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, for, for, you know, pushing to 8 o'clock in the morning it, on, on a Thursday. That is very weird to see it completely dead. So everybody is heeding the warning and staying home and staying off the roadways if they don't have to be out here. All right, uh, Dave, the most important thing, I was just checking the OBS because the most important thing I got out of your live shot that I didn't expect was that wind. And sure enough, it's gusting up to about 32 miles an hour where you are right now, pretty steady at about 21 miles an hour. So this is all, you know, don't only have the snow, you got blowing snow. Yeah, in that you know, and Jeff. that just makes it even worse out there. But the good news is at least it's that wet snow. So you're not seeing that blowing around like we've seen on some of the previous storms. So right now we're looking at Richmond, Virginia. And Richmond know you really well. This actually happens to be a hometown of our social media coordinator here, Sarah Hill. So hello to you, Richmond. Now we want to talk about the forecast. You've already picked up about six inches of snowfall out there, and we're still going to squeeze out about another one to three. So maybe you're on Interstate 95 and you're taking the trek up to the north. Temperature right now, 31 degrees. Maybe once the snow is clean, you'll stop off at Short Pump Mall, hang out there a little bit, but you go up 95, and then eventually you're going to be in Woodbridge as well as into D.C., passing through Fredericksburg as well. Nine 95 showing you we're still keeping the snow around. Same for you, Baltimore. And then eventually we're going to see winter storm Remus moving out. But for areas like D.C. as well as into Baltimore, uh, we're going to be squeezing out about another one to three inches of snowfall in some parts. Of course, ending west to east Philadelphia, snow for you. And again, we're also looking about one to three inches as well. So that's your travel. So up and down Interstate 95. I know you already have the traffic there, but then when you add in the snow, that means uh, sometimes you just don't go anywhere. Snow around for you, Philadelphia, all the way through the evening hours and then notice it's really going to be some of the lighter stuff. Nothing that's going to be too significant delaying too many people once they get the roads clear. Yeah, I, a lot of college campuses are shut down in the Mid-South and the Mid-Atlantic. ODU in Norfolk is one of those. And so this morning, let's check in with everybody in ODU and find out uh, what's going on. You've gotten about six inches of snow this month. And so uh, AJ McCafferty joins us. Uh, AJ, are you with us this morning? It looks like you're I outside. Am. Hey, good morning, yeah, sir. Yeah, I'm out here on, our, uh, on the mall out here in front of the Web Center. That's our student center here at Old Dominion. Tell us what it looks like uh, and what's going on. It seems to be fairly quiet. Like nobody, is that where everybody normally hangs out? Yeah, this is pretty much where, uh, you know, during the warmer months, this is where everybody's out here on campus. But right now I've maybe seen a handful of people. Um, but I guess 
you know, I would say in a couple hours here, it'll be probably be packed with students, um, you know, having some snowball fights. I've already seen a couple uh, snowmen out here on the quad or on the mall. So I, I imagine a couple hours is going to be packed out here. You guys get a lot of closures because there, there's a lot of folks who have to come in who, who commute to class there. So how, you've had a lot of closures, I think, this year, right? Yeah, this is about our, I think it's our third closure. Um, we had a class canceled early yesterday and then, or uh, two days ago, and then class canceled early a couple days last week. So, uh, AJ, I'm so glad you, you, you Skyped in to show us. I love the outdoor Skype. I, I want to stay, but I'm running out of time in the block. And no, I wanna make absolutely. Sure you get I understand. Your hashtag. I want to make sure you get your uh, my forecast, my weather uh, out of there. So let's give you your forecast. Uh, as we say, from 9 a.m., you're still going to have a little bit of light snow. It's pulling out pretty quickly, even faster than the forecast would indicate. And we've got some clouds for the rest of the day. AJ, the best news I have for you is you get to 34 today. ODU, proud and 34 this afternoon. Thanks, AJ. had a headache, but now I don't. Excedrin is fast. In fact, for some, relief starts in just 15 minutes. Excedrin. Wow, that was fast. Lowe's presents how to make a friend speak when she's speechless. Wow, Kim, I'm speechless. Your new bathroom looks so beautiful, I can't even talk right now. I literally can't even open my mouth to talk. Now get the Moenox B faucet for $89 at Lowe's. The future of the market is never clear. But at T. Rowe Price, we can help guide your retirement savings. Our experience is one reason 100% of our retirement funds beat their 10-year LIPR averages. So wherever your long-term goals take you, we can help you feel confident. Request a prospectus or summary prospectus with investment information, risks, fees, and expenses to read and consider care. Congratulations, you're down with Crestor. Yes! When diet and exercise aren't enough, adding Crestor lowers bad cholesterol up to 55%. Crestor is not for people with liver disease or women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant. Tell your doctor all medicines you take. Call your doctor if you have muscle pain or weakness, feel unusually tired, have loss of appetite, upper belly pain, dark urine, or yellowing of skin or eyes. These could be signs of serious side effects. I'm down with Crestor. Make your move. Ask your doctor about Crestor. Over 200,000 people are hospitalized every year with flu complications. So to kill the germs that may make your family sick, we recommend using Lysol disinfectant spray every day. Lysol is approved to kill 80 germs, including hard to kill viruses that can live on surfaces for over four weeks. It works on hard and soft surfaces to help stop the spread of bacteria. So help keep your family healthy with Lysol. Five two. That's eight hundred three nine nine two seven five two. Eight hundred three nine nine two seven five two. Three thousand years of history waiting to be discovered. Body was found this morning. Do we have any suspects yet? It's my job to find out what happened. Stop! It's time. Someone wants to find it or died trying. Dig next Thursday at ten on USA. Stay tuned for your local on the 8, brought to you by Universal Orlando Resort. This year, make every amazing despicable. Wizarding second of your vacation count by staying where the adventure never ends. Come with me now. Two theme parks, spectacular resort hotels, more epic than ever. Don't just vacation. Go with me now. Vacation like you mean it. Universal Orlando Resort. Go big with epic vacation packages starting at just $139 per night, including park admission. Currently in our area, 74 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, mostly cloudy and windy. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High 87. Tonight, cloudy intervals. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low 64. Friday, morning showers. Thunder possible. High 75. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven day outlook.
Hey, good morning, everyone from Charlotte, North Carolina, the beautiful Queen City here, and it is 34 degrees. We got a couple of inches of snow, potentially a six inch of snow to one inch of liquid ratio, white mud essentially coming out of the sky. Uh, road's not too bad. You know, we're here on the side streets and certainly Interstate 77, which you can see moving uh, behind me here. Ceiling's starting to lift a little bit. That sun, that late February sun is getting through. That's going to help melt some of this snow, but a little bit farther up to the east than I-85, uh, it's a little bit heavier. We've had as much as five to eight inches around Raleigh and Durham at points northeast uh, toward Norfolk, Virginia. To the southwest of me, you head down toward Greenville, Spartanburg, and then eventually in toward Atlanta. Maria La Rosa standing by in Ackworth, Georgia this morning, north of Atlanta on Interstate 75. Uh, Maria, how did things fare there on 75? And tell us about some of the worst traffic situations certainly you've heard of over the last 24 hours or so. Well, you know, Jim, a lot like many areas across the south, it's sort of a split story where I am literally on the dividing line of where it's not that bad. And then to the north, it got pretty bad. As you mentioned, I'm right off 75 here in Cobb County, about 30 miles north of Atlanta. North of here, seeing some slowdowns on 75. Thankfully, nothing. Unfortunately, what they're seeing in Alabama, I-65, we're hearing north of Birmingham, uh, tons of traffic and people have been stuck in their cars and trucks for hours. So you're talking during the overnight hours, even after the snow ended. And it's clear, uh, to, and, and you can understand why that would happen. Take a look at this video. This is coming from Haleyville, Alabama, uh, in the northern part of Alabama, about 70 miles southwest of Huntsville. Uh, they're talking more than half a foot of snow there. In fact, Huntsville ended up with 8.1 inches, the second highest snow for a single day. They've had on record the fourth biggest snowstorm for Huntsville. So a lot of snow in Alabama. Then you head to a city like Chattanooga. You know, they're trying to have some fun, but they're too a big snow. 6.3 inches of Officially at Chattanooga for yesterday and parts of uh, Tennessee saw more than half a foot including Townsend. Uh, they clocked in with about nine inches of snowfall. Here are the problems that we're dealing with now in the south is that we still have temperatures that are at or below freezing this morning. There is some good news. We do expect a little bit of sunshine to peak out and those temperatures to creep above freezing. For example, in Atlanta, uh, we are getting close to 40 degrees today, not to mention the near 60s by early next week. So everyone looking forward to that. Back to you. Okay. Hey, Maria, that is a very interesting information that you put toward us as far as the temperatures are concerned in Georgia as we go through the day today with a high near 40 degrees and getting into the 60s next week. I am a little concerned about Sunday morning, though, because we could get some freezing precipitation in and across the state. I'll get to that in a second. Let's take a quick look here at what is left of Remus moving across uh, the mid-Atlantic right now. Take a look right here, and if we move this uh, radar forward, you'll see how that uh, precipitation is moving off pretty rapidly. 9 to 11 a.m. yet Washington D.C. for the snowfall as we get into the afternoon here temperatures are going to rise above that freezing mark and I expect conditions to improve there pretty rapidly across the area. Here is our next storm system a lot of jet energy in the atmosphere here and this is going to help to produce the next widespread swath of wintry weather. This jet stream is going to dive into the southwestern U.S. and then take a turn to the northeast going through the Midwest and the Great Lakes region and as it does so it's going to help to fuel this next winter round of precipitation right there is that jet energy in the Saturday to Sunday time frame and it really really pushes these strong winds that the low pressure system is going to track along we move the moisture into the cold air across this area here and that is going to result in the wintry precipitation and again this is running into the Saturday through Sunday time frame so guys from Kansas City running up to Chicago and Cleveland into the weekend another round of wintry weather stay tuned we'll keep you updated hey Jen what do you have on your side and you know what? I have snow on my side and we're looking at St. Louis. There is the arch. It is 28 degrees snow coming down and you know, it's snow cold out there. You know, my mom called. She said, Sam, um, Oscar, you know, I'm crazy dog lady. Mm -hmm. He comes in the house and he runs and he goes and sits on this heating pad. Well, this is why because we have snow out there, cold temperatures and look at that little burst of heavier snowfall just moving in for areas like Belleville, Illinois. Now, as we look in the wider view, Chicago snow there and look, we've got a bit of lake enhancement. In fact, we have a lake effect snow advisory in effect until noon today and that means uh, say if you're driving down these roads here right along Lake Michigan you're going to be looking at enhanced snowfall so there comes that second band after this boosts through so far we've picked up nearly 26 inches of snowfall that's a four snowiest on record now we move that ahead and we talk about the forecast we time this out for you Chicago eight o'clock of course the snow around even for Gary Indiana by about two o'clock there comes that lake enhancement for Chicago and then as we drive into drive time
time, 6, 7 o'clock, right on top of Cleveland, as well as Pittsburgh. Anywhere in these areas, we're talking about one to three inches. This is a quick mover. Indianapolis, here's your snow forecast. And guess what? Looks like you could see more this weekend. Of course, we'll tell you coming up here on... This program brought to you by AARP. Real possibilities. He trains. He's psyched. Ready for the knockout? You don't know ARP. He's staying in shape by keeping his brain healthy and focused with AARP's Staying Sharp. With online mind sharpening exercises developed by the top minds in brain science. And exercise and stress reduction tips that can impact brain health. So he's ready for the real possibilities ahead. If you don't think top of my game when you think AARP, then you don't know ARP. <laughs> Find more surprising possibilities and get to know us at aarp.org slash possibilities. Well, sir, after some serious consideration, I'd like to put in my 15-year notice. You're quitting? Technically retiring, sir. With a little help from my State Farm agent, I plan to retire in 15 years. Wow, you're totally blindsiding me here. Who's going to manage your accounts? This is a devastating blow I was not prepared for. Well, I'm going to finish packing my things. 15 years will really sneak up on you. Jennifer will do your exit interview, and Adam made you a cake. Red velvet. Oh, thank you. I made this. Take charge of your retirement. Talk to a State Farm agent today. They're two of a kind, and just like toddlers, puppies need food made for them. That's why there's Purina Puppy Chow. With all the essential nutrients your growing puppy needs, Purina Puppy Chow. That leaky roof will cost you thousands in repairs, and gushing gutters can destroy your home's foundation. Hi, Phil Swift here for Flex Seal, the brand everyone trusts to coat seal and stop leaks fast just a quick shot and flex seal fills cracks and holes stopping the toughest leaks while remaining completely flexible it's actually liquid rubber